basically what we're looking at here are varieties of Australian finches. Yes, here we've just got Australian finches. Just to show you some of the different varieties, there's I think 19 different species. And the most popular finch in the world is, is the zebra finch, which is native to Australia. Yes, that's true. Mm. And now comes in, I suppose, hundreds of varieties. I don't think they've classified all the colours yet. They keep developing new ones all over the world, as you say. Uh, zebra finch, everybody knows it comes from Australia. It's like the budgie. Mm. The two most common kept birds are both Australians. They're terrific, great way to start. They're easy to breed, they're hardy, they don't drop off the perch. Yeah. The Goulian, because they come from the Northern Territory, they don't have that underdown feather and they can be a little touchy in cold weather, but no problems with the zebras. Yeah. So you've got a few Goulian finches here? Yes, a couple of Goulians. You can see some of the mutations they've now developed from the, the original Goulians. You've got a couple of original colours down the bottom there and these are some of the new mutations. And they're just stunning, absolutely stunning colours. And you have things like star finches. Yes. And some of those really are stars. They're very, very beautiful birds. They're, in my view, as good as they get as far as quality goes for star finches, but it's uh, an eternal favourite with Australian finch keepers to have a pair of stars. And so if you've got a kid who wants to get into breeding some sort of an animal, probably in a way birds are very good. There's a lot of fun you can have. You can learn genetics, and if you go to the clubs, they really do look after you and, and you'll have a good time. If the club is the way to go. Yeah. because it makes it opens up the world of birds to you and they have conventions and you know there's videos and books and it's very helpful. So Peter this aviary is one that you can basically buy almost in kit form? Yes you, you, it comes in pieces they put it up for me but you can put it up yourself you can buy it like a plastic bottle kit and it just goes together with rivets and screw it into the brick and so it's fairly straightforward. Some of the easy finches, like for instance zebra finches, you'll breed without anything oh, other yeah. than basically seed, shell grit and water. Yes, Australian finches you don't need the extras. I do give them a bit of cake every day and sprouts, they all love a bit of apple, but you can breed them with just, as you say, seed and water. You haven't been too well lately, Doug? No, I've had chronic fatigue syndrome for eight years. Eight years? Eight years, yeah. And during that eight years, have you been able to work much? No, no. Um, I, I Actually, I used to be a sculptor as well, and I can't even sculpt now, because uh, I can't hold yeah. my arms up long enough. Yeah. And what have your birds meant to you through that time? The birds are, birds are basically my life. Um, they're the thing that get me out of bed of the morning because you have to get up and feed your birds, do their water, make sure they've got enough seed, greens, the, the whole works. Because uh, if you can't look after your birds like that, you just can't have them. And uh, it's uh, basically a therapy for me. Uh, rather than go back and lay in bed, I sit out next to one of the aviaries and watch the birds. Quick impression of Sean Connery? Yes, well what is it that you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I just wish I had his money. <laughs>